Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making this card. Um, I saw this card on Lisa Curcio's page, but she didn't um, do a video for it, so I just thought um, I would do a video for it. Um, and I'm, of course, just going to do it the way I think it was done. I don't know for sure if this is the way she did it or not, but it's just so cute that I couldn't resist. So, first thing you're going to need is a piece of basic black that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So, get a bone folder, make sure we get a good crease on there. And cardstock that I don't use very often, Sahara Sand, and that is four by five and a quarter. And then you're going to need three one by three and three quarter inch strips of Sierra sand. All right, so let's start by doing the Sierra sand part. The stamp set that I'm going to be using is Spooky Stamp. And I'm going to be using this one, the mouse, um, the potion bottles, which I forgot to get my ink for, and eat at your own risk. All right, so... Let's get started here. We'll put this one on here and I'm, whoops, make sure you do it the right way. That would always help. If you put it on your grid paper, that helps also. All right, and then I'm going to be using Memento Tuxedo Black. And this is going to be inked quite a few times on your paper. And I think I'm going to get my... piercing mat out and I'll just use this paper towel underneath of it so I don't make a mess on my and if you overlap it a little bit that's just fine And if you don't, that's just fine too. But I don't want to stick my head in the camera, so. Get my other two pieces here. Turn that over because it's kind of making it buckle. We are, or I am in Wisconsin, I'm sure that you know that by now, and it is 92 degrees today. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then on Wednesday, I heard a high of 67. So we are just... Chilling it in the air conditioner. Now, of course, you're going to be able to stamp yours much better than I am because, like I said, I'm doing this and I'm not being able to see over my paper very well. So you will not have any gaps or anything. Because you're going to be able to see right where you are 
stamping. Or you can just go back over it like I'm doing here. Okay, so this one's pretty good. Let's see about this one. Don't really like it that I had to double stamp it, but uh, it will do. All right, sorry about that. All right. Here we go with those. All right. Now, I'm going to take my piece of Sierra sand. Um, let's get our mat back in here. Oh, goodness sakes. I haven't even used this yet, and I already got stuff on it. And I'm going to use these as kind of placers where I want to stamp my mouse and potion bottles. Get our little rat. Place him on a block. And ink him up. Same ink. And the first one's going to go right about here. So it will nestle right there. And then my potion bottles. Right here. <clears throat> so we're going to go right next to him. So we will ink those up. Another set of potion bottles over here. Okay. And we will have another set. Stamp him two times. Right there. All right. Now, what is the name of this? I don't remember the name of this impressions folder, but it's the one with the brick wall. We're going to take that. Before we do that, <laughs> let's get our inks. <clears throat> I had to get my pumpkin pie out of my one of my K 
kits for class for next week. So let's wipe this off. And the potion bottles, they all come separately. him anymore so I'll use that one too put one on here and one on here and one on here all right all right so the pumpkin pie is going to be this small one here and let's see how I do not too bad all right one more time okay and then lemon lime twist or did I use, I think I used Old Olive. Looks like Old Olive to me. I think it's Old Olive, let's see. That's going to be the biggest one. All right. Yes, it was definitely Old Olive. Right. And then the last one is going to be Perfect Plum. And that's going to go on this last one here. Too badly on those. All right, I'll let this dry for a second. While that is drying, I'm going to take just a scrap piece of uh, Whisper White and the Eat Me at Your Own Eat at Your Own Risk stamp. And this I just hand cut out. It was not hard at all. I love the little potion bottles. I think that's probably, well, I like the rat too, even though I definitely do not like rats. Um, But I really like the potion bottles. I think they're cute. All right, we'll ink that up in the same ink. All right. I'm just using um, chamois so that the ink doesn't dry on my inks. And then when I'm, whenever I'm done stamping, I just use my Stampin' Scrub to make sure that they're all nice and clean and conditioned before I put them away. Because the mist for the Stampin' Scrub mist um, has got a conditioner in it to help your stamps live longer. All right, so we will take this and our snips and I just cut it up here. Although that is not very straight at all. And I think I need a little bit more on this side, just a tad. And then I just did angles on either side like that. Although that's better. All right. I think we are done with our stamping and this is dry. So now we are going to take our and 
embossing folder and we're going to line this up in here so that it's straight. Bring in our Big Shot and I'm going to use the Big Shot platform, one cutting plate, my embossing folder with my paper in it, and another cutting plate. And then that we will just run right through. I know that's shaken, so sorry about that. Alright, and then that just makes it look like a brick wall. And then I took a piece of a Stampin' Sponge, and I'm just going to rough up the, well not rough them up, but scuff them up. Scuff up the edges a little bit so that it's not so clean, because this, I'm sure, is supposed to be like a laboratory. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. Now you can certainly use Memento, not Memento, um, our archival black ink on there, but I don't um, like that it's stains your stamp so bad that you can't see through them what you're stamping. That's why I use Memento on my um, clear stamps. I use my um, archival on rubber stamps. All right. There we go. So now we can just bring in our little shelves. And we'll get some glue on the back. And we're going to make sure that at least that the rat is kind of sitting on the shelf. Okay. Leave that one a second because that one's the one that for the top because I accidentally stamped on the, the potion bottle on it. So this one goes on here. Just like that. And then this one. It's kind of going to go underneath. All right. Good enough. And I can always take my little marker here and just kind of extend it a little bit. And that is just fine. All right, so we will take our little eat at your own risk. And that's going to get a little bit of glue also. And that's going to go right down here at the corner. And that can hang off just a little bit because um, we're going to have the card base on there. So it can hang off a little bit. Next, we're going to take our black gemstones, rhinestones, and my paper piercer. Looks like I got one on my dimensionals here, so we'll put one here. These are going to go on our shelves. Kind of, 
trying to make them even, even though I'm sure if we were in the laboratory, they would not be even at all. And two more, or four more. All right, then we can take our Card base, and I think you're going to want to use your Tombow since it has a little bit of texture on it. Make sure that we're putting it on the right side there. To get an even border on all four sides here. There we go. Better. All right, and something that I didn't do on the other one, but I think I will do on this one if I can find it, is get my Wink of Stella. And I'm going to put some Castell on my potions. But you want to do like all of the orange ones together, all of the green ones together, because this uh, reacts with water. So you want to make sure that um, you're using all the same color. And then wipe it off in between. All right. take a piece of white and the Happy Halloween Happy Halloween or trick or treat take your peek pick and we'll put that on here potion bottles again. I like to dress up the inside of my cards to kind of match the outside of my cards. Not always, but did that on the wrong one, but that's all right. I really can't tell. My 
pumpkin pie. Okay. And pull olive for the last one. That will do it for the inside. So we'll just put some adhesive at the top here. And there you have it. So I definitely like it with the shimmer from the Wink of Stella, definitely. So I'm just going to add that to this one. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.